the Wall Street Bros are absolutely finished. While amateur traders waste time chasing hot tips and gut feelings, elite quantitative hedge funds have quietly assembled armies of PhDs who are systematically extracting billions from the markets with mathematical precision. Two Sigma alone employs over 250 doctorate level scientists, including international math Olympiad medalists. Today, I am breaking down how this PhD revolution is changing trading forever and what it means for your approach to the markets. Welcome to another episode where we dive deep into the strategies that are dominating modern trading. I'm your host and today we're exploring how the true power players in finance aren't the stereotypical Wall Street bros in suits. They're scientists with doctoral degrees in physics, mathematics and computer science. Let's start with understanding the massive shift that's happened. 30 years ago, trading floors were dominated by aggressive personalities with business backgrounds. Today, the most successful firms like Renaissance Technologies, Two Sigma and d Show are essentially scientific research organizations that happen to trade markets. These firms employ hundreds of PhDs who approach markets not with intuition but with rigorous scientific methodology. Take Two Sigma as a case study founded by a computer scientist and a mathematician. They now employ over 250 people with doctoral degrees. Their offices look more like research labs than trading floors. These aren't just any academics either. They specifically recruit from the absolute elite, math Olympiad medalists, theoretical physicists from top institutions, and computer scientists who specialized in machine learning before it was mainstream. What makes these PhD armies so effective? First, they apply the scientific method to markets. Rather than making subjective goals about market direction, they form testable hypotheses, gather enormous datasets, and validate their approaches with statistical rigor. They're not asking, do I feel bullish or bearish? They're asking, what specific market behaviors have a mathematically provable edge? Second, these PhDs leverage computational power that would have been unimaginable just decades ago. They're running millions of simulations, analyzing terabytes of data and executing trades at millisecond speeds. This isn't just faster trading. It's a fundamentally different approach that finds profitable patterns human traders would never perceive. The strategies deployed by these PhD armies are incredibly sophisticated. Let's break down a few of the core approaches. Statistical arbitrage is their bread and butter. This involves finding mathematical relationships between related securities and exploiting tiny discrepancies when those relationships temporarily diverge. For example, they might identify that stock A and stock B have historically moved in 95% correlation, then pounce when that correlation temporarily breaks down. Machine learning is another key weapon. Unlike traditional technical analysis with fixed rules, their algorithms can adapt to changing market conditions to identify subtle patterns that precede specific market movements. Natural language processing is increasingly important as these funds analyze news, social media, and corporate statements at scale. One fund might process every earnings call, transcript from the past decade, identifying specific language patterns that correlate with future stock performance. High frequency trading represents the extreme end of their approach. Here, they're competing on pure speed and efficiency capturing microscopic price discrepancies across exchanges before others can react. Some firms have even built dedicated fiber optic lines to gain millisecond advantages. Risk management is perhaps where the PhD approach really shines. Rather than simplistic stop losses, they model portfolio risk using advanced mathematics like Monte Carlo simulations and factor analysis. This allows them to predict and manage risk scenarios that would blindside traditional traders. So, what does this mean for individual traders like us? Should we all give up because we can't compete with PhD armies? Absolutely not. But we do need to adapt our approach. First, we need to embrace systematic thinking, having clear, defined rules for our trading decisions rather than relying on intuition. This could be as simple as documenting your entry and exit criteria and sticking to them rigorously. Second, we must validate our strategies with proper testing. This doesn't require a PhD, but it does mean looking beyond a few cherry-picked examples to understand how your approach would have performed across many market conditions. 
position sizing is another area where we can learn from the quants. Most amateur traders size positions based on gut feel or arbitrary percentages. The PhD approach is to size based on mathematical edge, allocating more capital precisely where your statistical advantage is greatest. Perhaps most importantly, quantitative thinking gives us emotional discipline. When you know your strategy has been validated across thousands of historical scenarios, it's easier to stick to your plan during market volatility instead of making panic decisions. We should also set realistic expectations. The best quant funds might return 20 to 40% annually with remarkable consistency, but they're using leverage market neutral strategies and have computational advantages we don't. A more realistic goal might be developing a systematic approach that outperforms major indices while managing drawdowns effectively. To summarize the key lessons from the PhD Army approach, one, think systematically and document your process. Two, validate strategies with proper testing across different market conditions. Three, size positions based on mathematical edge rather than emotion. Four, use quantitative framework to maintain discipline. And five, set realistic expectations based on your resources and constraints. The truth is, the quantitative revolution isn't slowing down. Every day you trade without these frameworks is another day at a disadvantage in modern markets. Understanding how these PhD armies approach markets is no longer optional. It's essential for survival in today's trading landscape. That's why we've developed a comprehensive quant mindset flowchart that breaks down exactly how to integrate these PhD level approaches into your own trading. This isn't advanced calculus. It's a simple framework that transforms complex quant concepts into actionable trading steps you can implement immediately.